So hello there. My name is Nargizi Yoldashovna from Karaopak State University and the Department of English Language and Literature. Okay? So this is a lesson of vocabulary dedicated to freshman and sophomore year students. Today, in this lesson, we are going to discuss crime and some types of crime. Okay? So, students, now you are going to listen to me attentively and use your manuals. The manual is English Vocabulary in Use, Upper Intermediate Level. Okay? So, open the um, manual, open the book, Unit 61, page 124. The topic is crime. Okay? So, look at the section A. Now I want you to take your notebooks and some pencils. Okay? With your pencils, you should underline all the words in bold. Okay? I'm going to give you some short explanations of the words in bold. And I'm going to provide some additional uh, verbs and words connected with crime and some uh, criminal court. Okay? So fine. Now take a look at section A. Mm -hmm. So there are two verbs. Rob and steal. Okay, what is the difference between them? So let's start with steal. Steal, um, we can steal something. The object is a thing. Okay? For example, um, he stole my bike yesterday. My bike was stolen yesterday. What about robbing? So we can rob a person or some place. For example, he was robbed last night or the bank was robbed yesterday. I hope that's clear. Let's go to the section B and discuss types of crime. Okay, I will provide some more types. Now look at the table at section B. So, section B, some types of crime. Uh, look at the table. There are some crimes along with their definitions, okay? And along with the person who commits this crime. So, um, what is an action? What is a verb for an uh, illegal action? So, this is committee. What do we do with a crime? We commit a crime. Okay? And how do we call a person who commits a crime? This is a criminal. Okay? So, the first type of crime is uh, murder. Murder. What is murder? Murder is killing someone on purpose. Okay? Um, and a person, a criminal who commits this type of crime is a murderer. 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 Okay? This is number one. Number two. Smuggling. 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 Not smuggling, but smuggling. Smuggling is taking some objects, some things, some personal belongings maybe, some valuable things from one country into another country. Illegally. Okay? Illegally. With no permission. So this is called smuggling. And the person who commits this crime is called a smuggler. Okay. Number three. Number three is uh, kidnapping. Kidnapping. Uh, maybe majority of you already know. So kidnapping is taking a person from one place into another place, into a place where um, his relatives or parents, they don't know where he is. So you steal a person, okay? So you take a person hostage uh, in order to demand some money, okay? Or uh, to demand some favors, okay? So this is called kidnapping. And the person is who commits kidnapping is called a kidnapper. Number four. Uh, number four is arson. Arson. So arson. Um, this type of crime means uh, to set fire to some building, okay, to some store, uh, maybe some shopping mall, uh, or 
furniture, so department store, okay? So arson is setting fire and a person who commits arson is an arsonist. Arsonist. Not arsoner, but arsonist. Okay? So let's move on to the number five. So number five, type of a crime, number five is um, manslaughter. So a little bit complicated to spell. So manslaughter, manslaughter. Okay, so manslaughter means uh, killing someone accidentally, okay, by negligence. So this happens accidentally, not on purpose. And there is no uh, name for a person who commits this crime, okay, because this is done unintentionally, okay. So number six is uh, a rape. So what is a rape? Uh, rape is a type of crime where one person makes another person to have sexual relationship, okay? So a person who commits this type of crime is called a rapist. So I hope that's clear. So number seven is blackmailing. So what is blackmailing? Blackmailing is... Uh, Illegal action where um, when you know someone's secret and you you threaten to this person in order to demand some money, okay? You threaten to this person in order to keep quiet. So you you are demanding money for keeping quiet, okay? In order not to reveal his secrets. I hope that's clear. So a person who commits blackmailing is called a blackmailer. So now, uh, that's all about types of crime. Now let's talk about types of types of stealing. Okay, so there are five types of stealing. Number one, um, so types of stealing. So number one is uh, theft. Theft is uh, a general verb, not verb, but general word meaning stealing. Okay, so stealing in general is theft. Stealing in general. Stealing in general is theft. And the person who commits theft is a thief. Okay, so number two is robbery. So what is robbery? Robbery is uh, stealing something from some building, okay, some bank, from a shop, usually with force and violence. Force and violence are the keywords here, okay, keep in mind. So robbery is stealing something, usually money, from bank, from a shop, from some department stores, with force and violence, okay? And a criminal, uh, criminal who commits robbery is called a robber. Robber, so stealing something from banks, etc. with force, so force. Force, okay? Force or violence. So number three is burglary. Burglary is also about stealing, but this is stealing from someone's home, okay? Stealing from home. Stealing from home. So, um, burglars, that's the way we call the criminal. Burglar, a person who commits a burglary. So burglars break into a home, into a house, in order to steal something. That's it. So number four is embezzlement. Embezzlement 
Embezzlement is when you are um, you are trusted to keep some money, someone's money, and you steal them, okay, illegally. So this is stealing money in your trust, okay? You are trusted with. So a person who commits uh, this type of crime, embezzlement, stealing money. So this is uh, a person is called embezzler. Embezzler. And the last one is shoplifting. So majority of you already know what it is. Uh, so shoplifting is stealing goods from a shop, okay? Uh, stealing something, maybe big or small, from a shop. Um, so a person who commits this type of crime is called a shoplifter. Yeah. So that's it. That's it. So now let's talk about um, verbs. Verbs connected with crime. So now, um, take a look at section C in your book, okay, there is a situation given, you are going to read it, and now I'm going to give some translations of the words which are in bold there, okay, the translation is going to be in Russian, mm -hmm. so fine. So now let's talk about verbs, verbs connected with uh, crime. So, number one, the main verb connected with crime is committing a crime. Commit a crime. Совершить преступление. Okay? So, next one. Witness a crime. Witness the crime. Witness the crime, it is to see someone acting illegally. Okay? To see someone doing some... So, committing a crime. So, this is... Uh, Являться свидетелем, быть свидетелем совершения преступления, какого-либо преступления. So, next one. To be charged with. And uh, with the same meaning. To be accused of. To be charged with some type of crime. And to be accused of uh, bank robbery, for example. To be charged with bank robbery, to be accused of bank robbery, it means быть обвиненным в совершении какого-либо преступления. Например, в ограблении банка. Okay? So, fine. Next one. Let me erase. So, next one is to be tried. To be tried. Um, with okay. So uh, next one is pleaded guilty. Pleaded guilty, guilty or not guilty. Guilty – это виновный. Значит, признаваться, признавать себя виновным или невиновным. So guilty, G J U I L T Y. The antonym is Innocent. Okay? Guilty. Innocent. Okay, next one. Uh, to defend. Защищать. Okay? And the antonym is to prosecute. To prosecute. To defend. Защищать. To prosecute. Обвинять. Значит, апло. Um, Usually, defenders are barristers. Barristers usually defend. And prosecutors usually... Prosecutor. Prosecutors usually prosecute. Okay? So, prosecutor, прокурор. Barrister, адвокат. B A W R I S T E R S. So let's go on. So to pass next verb is to pass to pass verdict. 
on someone. So it means вынести verdict, вынести приговор. Okay? Uh, so next one, to acquit. Acquit. Acquit someone. Это... Uh, uh, to acquit someone. So to acquit someone is to uh, have someone not guilty. Okay? Uh, to say that someone is not guilty. Okay. So next one. Mm. To prosecute, обвинить. In Russian, to acquit someone, оправдать. To prosecute, обвинить. So let's talk about some nouns connected with crime. Nouns connected with crime. Now take a look at the last section in your book. There are some verbs. There are some nouns, right? So nouns connected with crime are written here. So trial at the suit case. At a fact преступление. Evidence – это основание. Proof – это доказательство. Judge – судья. And jury – это присяжные. Okay? Jury – присяжные. Присяжные выносят обычно вердикт, виновен ли um, человек, который совершил преступление или нет. So, now, um, let's um, recall some information, uh, which we have been covering so far. Okay? So, I have some questions to you. Number one. What is the difference between manslaughter and murder? Think about it. I hope you memorized. So, number two question. What is an arson? And how do we call a person who committed arson? Arsonist. Yes, you are right. So, fine. Uh, this is all about crime from the unit 61 in your books. So now, I have your home task. I have a home task to give to you, okay? So this is unit 61, exercises connected with the topic of crime, okay? On page 125. Do all these exercises because there are some more information connected with crime. Okay, so uh, keep in mind that you should rewatch this video again and again and take notes about some unfamiliar words and which and the words were, which are not in your book. Because 70% of these uh, words are going to be in your final test. Okay, keep in mind. So fine. Um, I hope that's all. I hope everything is clear to you. All the best with your English. Bye for now.